Hey everyone, this is Chris bringing you an LOTR deck while we are all stuck at home dealing with coronavirus and quarantines and all these other fun things. Thankfully, I am feeling fine. The most obnoxious thing has been dealing with the grocery panic and the lack of you know basic supplies like food and toilet paper. Uh, I have those things, but it is amazing how much of that stuff is entirely Entirely sold out. Anyways, I uh, decided to build another Grey Wanderer deck because I love secrecy and eight threat leadership heroes are basically all good. So we're going to give that a shot tonight up against Danger in Darwinian. And it has gotten incredibly dark outside, though I am surrounded by lights. Uh, so hopefully this will continue to work and look good in the video recording. If not, I guess I will try again tomorrow. Uh, all right, so I did my mulligan. I have my opening hand. I don't have Steward of Gondor. I have a few Outlands allies, but not Ethere Swordsman. So I'm gonna activate Grey Wanderer, raise my threat to nine in order to generate two additional resources. Uh, spend two of them right away for Long Lake Fisherman. And I don't remember which comes first, after you play or after enters play. Uh, so I'm going to say draw first and then search. All right, well, I drew an Outlands ally. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I was going to name two, try and get, again, Ethere Swordsman or Steward of Gondor, uh, which luckily I did get Ethere Swordsman. So we're not in bad shape, but honestly, we could be in much much better shape. I uh, would not be surprised if we fail to quest this round. I still have one resource left though, so not all hope is lost. Um, and I could use that for Knights of the Swan to draw another card, but I think at this point I would rather spend one for Resourceful, just to guarantee that I get these extra resources rolling right off the bat. Doesn't draw me a card, but that's all right. Uh, so let's go to questing. I'm gonna quest for two. Up against one in the staging area, plus an underguard. Uh, resolve the travel effect on the active location. There is not one, so I discard until I get a location. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, there we go, CD Tavern. So I sent two up against three in the staging area. I raise my threat to 10. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. City Forum, CD Tavern. I think I will travel to City Forum. But that is going to be all that I can do right now. So refresh up to 11 threat. Trying to figure out where best to put all these things on this play map. I uh, get two resources now in the resource phase. One card. I do love that Gandalf. Uh, well, I'm going to spend these two right away for an Ethere Swordsman. Draws me a card from Lord of Morthond. Stand to fight is good, but not super helpful. Um, I will use Grey Wanderer right now just to get the extra resources, taking my threat up to 12. Uh, and at this point, I will spend one for a Knights of the Swan. Maybe it'll draw me another one cost Outlands ally, which it absolutely did. So I spend the last one for on Philosopher's Herdsman, draw myself a card. All right, so now we got a pretty decent questing force. My threat is still 12, so I shouldn't have to deal with anything. So we're gonna quest for two, three, four, five, six, seven. Up against 
Well, all right, Treacherless Easterling is gonna be beefy, but maybe I can win before I ever have to deal with him. Uh, so I counted two, three, four, five, six, seven up against five is two progress on this location. And that is all I can do. So I'm gonna refresh. Treacherous Easterling gets slightly larger. My array of allies grows and grows. Draw a card, two resources. I mean, at this point I basically have to, I'm gonna use Grey Wanderer to generate two additional resources, raise my threat. Put another resource on Treacherous Easterling. I guess good news is he maxes out his attack at six and I have an easy source of healing once I get some defensive boosts online. Uh, I'm gonna spend one for resourceful to help steamroll this along. I will spend two on Hunter of Lamadon. Um, ba, 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 ba. So I want Steward of Gondor, but I'm moving fast enough through the deck. All right, I will trigger this Outlands ability and discard the Steward of Gondor off the top, draw a card. Well, that was the, the opposite of what I wanted. I would have much rather had Steward in my hand and Warden of Healing in the discard pile, but that's okay. And at this point, with one resource left, uh, I'm going to quest with basically the same squad as last time. Except now I have a hunter, so we're at nine, up against five. Discard all ally cards. That's a little rough. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I got a stand and fight, and I got a good harvest. Uh, but I still sent nine up against five is four progress. So we clear city forum. Make one progress on the main quest. Add one resource counter to that. And I guess I basically have to travel to CD Tavern at this point. Look at the top five. Okay, honestly, I don't want Servant of Sauron. Don't want Hillside Manor. Don't want Disappearances. Don't want to take an immediate attack. I guess I'll put Under Guard under here because once it uh, triggers, it will fetch me a new location to explore, which is kind of important for this quest. And good news, we're down to three in the staging area, so hopefully I'll be able to handle that. Raise my threat to 15 in the refresh phase. Stand them all back up, put a third counter on Treacherous Easterling. Uh, draw a card, I had one left, so plus two ends up at four before I trigger Grey Wanderer. Burp, 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 four. Mm, okay. Uh, so I'm gonna play Good Harvest, naming Spirit, because there's a couple Spirit cards I want to play right now. Uh, I will use Grey Wanderer to generate those extra resources, raise my threat to 16. I'm gonna spend two for an Ithir Swordsman, which draws me a card. Well, Rod of the Steward does not help without Steward himself. Uh, I'm going to play Stand and Fight, which I would love to use to get back Gandalf, but I cannot do that. Uh, so instead, I'm going to use it to get back a Hunter of Lamadon for two, because uh, this may draw me a new Outlands ally. Oh, it's after you play anyway, so pretend you never saw that. I'm just cheating. 
Uh, and I can't spend any more resources. So let's go to questing. At this point, I think we can just send seven to the quest. Save the rest for miscellaneous combat duties. All right. Rune backstabber. So up against five, I will make two progress. Don't have to engage the backstabber at all. Don't want to engage the backstabber at all. So let's just ready up. Raising my threat to 17. Generate three additional resources for the round. Draw my card. All right, well, I saw this before, so I knew what it was going to be. But here's deep knowledge. Again, remember, I'm cheating slightly. Uh, doomed, draw two. Well, that's a good one. Uh, so I'm going to spend three resources. Put Forlong into play. Now, I have two Rod of the Steward in my hand, which is a little useless right now. But that's okay. Forlong is great because I have all four spheres represented. So uh, let me quest for 10 with the Long Lake Fisherman. All right, so 10 up against five in the staging area. Evidence of the cult, which is guarded by an enemy. Ba, 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 ba. Go. Messenger from Mordor. I don't believe that guard reveals the enemies. Um, but I'm not sure, so let me trigger that when revealed effect regardless. Cheat once in the opposite direction if I'm wrong. All right, so 21 threat. I sent 10 up against 5, 6, 7, 8. So I will make an additional 2 progress. I swing for 4. I can definitely kill it. Um, now it's going to swing for 5, which means that any shadow effect would kill here, Lewin. Uh, all right, let me optionally engage this rune backstabber, who I will place here and deal a shadow card to. Forlong is ready, and I am forced to discard an ally, which will be this Long Lake fisherman who has served his purpose. Uh, three attack. I'm going to have Hirloon defend because I can heal him right now. Shadow card is Secret Cultist, which does nothing. So I will take two points of damage. I can ready and heal for the cost of one threat. Uh, but I have one, two, I have plenty of attack over here. So I am going to heal and generate resources instead. Brings me up to four. Uh, and one, two, three, four, five, six is enough to take out this enemy. Hopefully we draw some Outlands allies. All right. Refresh takes me up to a whole grand total 23 threat. Draw a card. Timely aid I do like, even though I have to pay full price. seven resources right now. So yeah, we're gonna spend four of those immediately for timely aid. Dig five deep, one, two, three, four, five, for an ally, any description. And I put it into play so I don't get to draw a card from it. And there's Steward of Gondor right on the top again before I shuffle it away. Uh, let me take Onphalas Herdsman still have three resources and nothing to do with them. So 
So that doesn't help me at all. All right, let's quest. So up against six again. I think I'm going to send nine. I only need to make one to clear this location. Servant of Sauron surges into Underguard. All right, Servant of Sauron is going to engage me immediately. Underguard, resolve the travel effect. All right, so I look at the top five and put another counter card underneath this. I don't want to surge, don't want a messenger from Mordor. Uh, disappearances will just surge, so I guess I'll take catacombs. I'm gonna get lots of locations in a minute, uh, but thankfully my questing strength is pretty high if I need it. Combat strength a little less so, but my my draws have bogged down more than expected. All right, so my nine up against six is going to be three progress, one on the CD Tavern, two on the main quest. So I'm not actually clear yet of this location. Uh, CD Tavern is going to reveal catacombs and under guard, which is gonna discard until I get a location. It's gonna be another CD Tavern. Of these options, uh, discard a card if it's an enemy, it comes into play engaged with me. I think I could handle that right now. So let me travel to Catacombs to get that threat out of the staging area. Discard another Servant of Sauron. Okay, so there's two Servant of Saurons. Uh, Forlong is ready. Shadow card for the first one, shadow card for the second one. All right, here, Lewin, you can defend servant number one, who is doing two, three attack, take two damage. Um, yeah, I'll raise my threat to heal and ready and defend the second one. So two, no shadow effect is one point of damage. Plenty of hit points right now, and they each only take four attack to kill. So here's one. Uh, and here's another. Wish I hadn't had to discard all my defensive Outlands allies, but I guess we could be doing a lot worse. Refresh brings me up to 25 threat. Uh, enemies in the staging area are at 32 and 34. That's my hand. I don't know why I'm refreshing it. All right, uh, generate three resources with resourceful. Brings me up to six. Draw a card for the turn. Stand and fight is delightful. Yeah, at this point, I'm going to stand and fight this Long Lake Fisherman for two. Uh, and my hope here is to get Steward of Gondor. I know there's three of them left in the deck. <laughs> Resourceful, Unexpected Courage, Hunter, Lamadon, Unexpected Courage, Steward of Gondor. Steward of Gondor I will take. Uh, let's see, I will move Grey Wanderer slightly, play Steward of Gondor, immediately get its resources back, play Rod of the Stewards so I can start drawing cards. Spend two to draw a card. Spend one to play Knights of the Swan, which causes me to draw a card. Uh, and there's Men of the West, which is going to be absolutely huge in a minute. Uh, I have one, two, two Atlans allies in there with Men of the West. I'll make two resources and raise my threat. 
And we'll spend two of those resources for Man of the West. Actually, you know what? There's a treachery that causes me to discard ally cards. Let me do that when I'm ready to play them. So we'll we'll just wind that all back. Save me from uh, the cruel irony of the encounter deck, which you all know absolutely loves to do exactly what I say we need it not to do. So one resource, 25 threat. Six, eight in the staging area. And we have a four threat active location. As soon as I make two more progress, we advance. So eight, I just counted here is six, nine. I think that location that we have is the biggest one. So this is 10 committed to the quest. I don't care if we make that much progress right now. Nailed it. Uh, that is disappearances. The treachery that would force me to discard all the ally cards in my hand. Uh, so instead of games doomed two, brings me up to 27 threat. I can live with that. It is so much better than the alternative. <laughs> all right, I'll make the two progress. Happily take that. Don't want to engage any of these enemies until I've had a chance to set up. So we're just we're just moving on. Up to 28 threat. Draw my card for the next round. It's another men in the west. Uh, generate up to four resources. Steward of Gondor brings me to six. All right, so I'll play Men of the West for two and then immediately play both of the Warrior of Losernox. I would like to get this Warden of Healing back out, but that's not what this card does. So two Warrior of Losernox mean that now I am significantly beefier than I was before. I can generate resources to draw another card, but right now I don't need it. So we're just gonna leave that. Uh, we are gonna quest for nine. 12. Up against, once again, eight. Darkness in the East. All right, that's effectively doomed four. So I'm gonna have to deal with Treacherous Easterling. Uh, but this is basically the best time because now I have the ability to take a much larger hit uh, with plus two hit points and plus two defense on all my outlands characters. So uh, I sent 12 up against eight is four progress, clears the catacombs, adds a resource, which is irrelevant. And we move on to stage two. I get a plot card now. Thankfully, none of the plot cards care about the number of allies you have, so I'm going to be fine. Our plot for today is bribes. All right, bribes can add one threat to the staging area for every resource, and every time I explore a location, we're gonna mill. And that's going to add resources. To be. So I need to clear four locations for this. That is fine. No when revealed, no anything like that. I'll travel to the CD tavern. Look at the top five, put one underneath. It's basically all the encounter deck now. Um, ba, 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 ba. I'm going to take side street because I want locations to chain into other locations. That's what we really need. All right. 
Atlas Travel encounter, I have to cut this treacherous Easterling. Uh, Forlong is going to be ready. This guy is going to hit like a truck at seven attack. No, sorry, six attack. He has four defense. I think we'll still be fine. All right, so here Lewin is going to defend, and I am immediately going to trigger Grey Wanderer to ready him and heal for three. So now six attack against my three defense. Shadow is doomed one. Absolutely fine. I'll take three damage, but I can heal that off pretty easily. And I need to do nine in order to kill him. Um, I have what? Three, seven, 11, 12, 15, 18, 24. Good enough. Standing them all back up. Threat is 35 now, uh, after all of these effects. So I will have to deal with that enemy next round, but at least I'll pick up enemy of the cult. Evidence of the cult, rather. So resources. I uh, get three by default, plus two more from the Steward of Gondor, which I will obviously activate right away. Draw myself a card. Uh, well, this Resourceful is rad, but it doesn't help me now. So spend two, draw a card. Uh, spend two for an Ethere Swordsman, which also draws me a card. Um, I can't play Deep Knowledge right now because we're still in the planning phase and I already spent my one non-unique. So we're just going to accept that this is where we are at. All right, up against three in the staging area. I'm going to quest for four. I'm going to quest for 12. Probably don't need to. Uh, let's quest for eight. Now let's quest for 12. I want to clear this location right away. All right, 12 up against three. City forum. All right, cool. So 12 up against four is eight progress. Clears the CD tavern. All right, things happen. We reveal side street. Place one. one. The main quest, uh, Bribe is going to trigger. I will discard two cards and add one resource, which is one additional threat in the staging area. The city forum gets a resource. Now I have to decide where I let's travel to city forum before this gets any bigger before the number of dice I have to manage grows any larger. Which raises my threat by one, which is honestly fine. Forlong is ready. I am forced to engage. Messenger from Mordor. Uh, swinging for four. No, you know what? I will have Hirluin defend again. And I will trigger Grey Wonder to heal and generate resources. So, four attack against, uh, five attack against my three defense. Shadow effect is nothing, I'll take two. Uh, and I shouldn't need to count again to demonstrate that we just absolutely wrecked that enemy. I'll add evidence of cult to the victory display and generate another resource. So uh, refresh takes me up to 38. I should probably stop using Grey Wanderer now, except I haven't gotten any of my healing or my readying. I do have all the resources I could ever want though. So up to six from those. Eight with Steward of Gondor. Um, and I draw a card. Oh, there's a beautiful card to see. 
uh, a first of these that is non-unique, uses up my ability. So there is Warden of Healing, draws me a card off of Lord of Morthond. Here's an Omphilus Herdsman, draws me a card. Uh, extra Steward of Gondor, it's useless, but I can spend two to draw an additional card. Extra four long is useless, but I can spend two to draw another card. Uh, Hunter of Lamadon, I cannot do anything with right now, so we're just going to be fine. Uh, questing up against three in the staging area, five threat main location. I will send 12 again. I don't think I've ever actually run this encounter deck all the way down before. It usually shuffles and discards before this. All right, Shadow of Fear, which surges into Overwhelmed. Doomed one, uh, all the enemies that are engaged with me can't take any damage. Whatever will I do? Uh, my 12 up against three is nine progress. Uh, sorry, up against four is eight progress. Clears the city for him. All right, threat was two, so I'm gonna discard two cards. There's one event, which has one more to bribery. I now have three on this main quest. And I will travel to side street, which causes me to shuffle the deck back into the... So close, so close to doing the thing I said I had never done before. But I chose not to. Honestly, at this point, I'm not sure what the cultist could do that would be really catastrophic. Uh, big attacks will take out some of my allies, but I can afford to spare the Hunter of Lamadons. Uh, I have an extra four long in my hand if he dies. I think all told will be fine. All right, well, the location I get is another city for him. So I think we're good. Uh, no enemies, so we're just gonna <laughs> tick all the way up to 40 threat. Ready up. Uh, I would have used the Warden of Healing to heal off one from Hirloin. And I generate three resources plus two from Steward of Gondor. So we end up at six. Draw my card for the round. Good Harvest is pretty great. All right, so I'm gonna spend two or Hunter of Lamadon. I'm gonna draw a card before I trigger the Outlands ability. So draw the card, trigger Outlands, discarded. Um, unexpected Courage is good. Really, genuinely very good. But let me spend two to draw a card first, just in case. I'll spend one for Knights of the Swan, which draws me another card. Yeah, seems fine. Okay. Uh, this quest phase, I'm in a quest against Shadow of Fear, because that will drop my threat by three. Really? Three? That's it? It's just going to Elrond counsel me? Okay, well, I'll do that, because I only need to clear quests in order to advance past the main... Or queer... Eh, words. Clear locations to advance past the main quest. So, as long as I get past that, I'll be fine. All right, three in the staging area. I only need to make three progress. So here is four long and two others for 12 committed to the quest. My hand is very large. We reveal Overwhelmed. Uh, doomed one and enemies engaged with me cannot take damage this round. So I make nine progress, which is three on side street and six on shadow of fear. Uh, I should have meant sent more if I wanted to clear this, but drops my threat by three down all the way to 38. Side street is going to clear, which puts one on city forum. And bribes is going to trigger for three, uh, pretty much milling out the rest of my deck. 
Timely Aid, Unexpected Courage, the backup Lord of Morthon. So only one more on bribes. And that is four counters on the quest, so we are going to advance. One random set aside cultist. I don't have to get any extra enemies, which is cool. I do think I still have to shuffle the encounter deck back into the discard pile. And maybe I missed that with stage two. Uh, Priest of Sauron, can it be optionally engaged? Fine. Tax and destroy as an ally, raise my threat by two. Also fine. I can't do any damage to Priest of Sauron this round uh, because of that treachery effect that I revealed. So I guess we're going to the next one at least. All right. Um, right. 3B. I guess I'm going to travel to City Forum, raise my threat by one. Optionally engaged, Priest of Sauron, or not optionally engaged, but forced engaged, Priest of Sauron. Uh, heal Hirluin for one. Furlong should be ready. Let me defend with Hirluin. I have three defense against six attack. And I have seven hit points, so the buffer is there. Shadow effect is raise my threat by one. So we're, we're back up to 40. But I'm not going to kill an ally, so that's all well and good. Uh, and I can't fight back, so moving on. 41. Again, um... With Steward, plus five resources gets me to six. Draw one card. There's only one card left in the deck, so I'll spend two to draw that last one. Which is, as I expected, because I was counting, the final warrior of Lucernock. I guess at this point I'll play Good Harvest just so that I can put Unexpected Courage on Hirluin. I don't need to draw any cards anymore, and nothing else in my hand does anything unless allies start to die. So here's an Unexpected Courage in the space where my deck used to be. Uh, all right, so I can do, as long as I keep City Forum in the staging area, I can do five every round. So I need to make sure I quest in a way that does not clear city forum. I quest for four, which puts me one up. Uh, I will also quest with this long lake fisherman, so five. Five up against bribes. Well, I'm gonna fail to quest right now, but that's probably okay. Treacherous Easterling. All right, so I sent five up against three, seven. Raise my threat by two. This is going to get closer than I would like. Uh, but I don't make any progress, so that's cool. Forced to engage the Treacherous Easterling. Forlong is here. Uh, I'm going to have four long defend against Treacherous Easterling. So four attack against four defense plus one means he'll take one damage. So four defense and four hit points against six attack is probably pretty good. If Hunter of Lamadon defend against Priest of Sauron, if this attack destroys a character, it will not. It will do two damage, but that's fine. And my army of Outlands allies can do an uh, absolutely staggering amount of damage. So we're going to kill Treacherous Easterling, collect the evidence that I don't need anymore. 
Uh, we'll put five damage on the Priest of Sauron because that's the maximum that I'm allowed to place. And Warden of Healing heals one and one. Refresh takes me up to 44. Uh, my main goal at this point is just not to lose to threat. I don't get to draw any cards. I do generate um, five resources with the steward. So again, there's three threat in the staging area. Five, so I can I can safely send eight and absolutely be, well, no, eight would open me up to the possibility that I, I'm going to send seven to the quest. So I cannot advance past the city forum, no matter what I do. Two, either raise my threat by two or take an immediate attack from the messenger from Mordor. Uh, let me take an immediate attack. Uh, Herolin will defend, ready up with unexpected courage. Warrior of Healing will remove one and one just to be on the safe side. So shadow effect four, nothing. I sent seven up against five. Makes two progress. Just checking. Don't have to actually clear any locations to advance past this stage. So that is all well and good. Am forced to engage this messenger. Get some shadow effects. This guy's not ready, but Forlong is. You are not. Uh, all right. Messenger from Mordor, I will defend with Hirluin. Shadow effect is attacking enemy gets plus one. Because I haven't raised my threat yet. Five up against my four is a point of damage. I'll have a second hunter defend against priest. Attacking enemy gets plus one. So seven, three damage. Still fine. Uh, and at this point, I have more than enough attack to kill the messenger, put the remaining three damage on the Priest of Sauron. And that is the end of Danger in Dorwini. Uh, yeah, turns out if you start with a guaranteed Lord of Morthond and effectively Steward of Gondor on Hirluin, it is very strong as everyone who has ever played Outlands would have predicted. It is a challenge to juggle around the restriction on the Grey Wanderer that only the first non-unique card you play in each planning phase does not require a resource match. Uh, obviously, all the Outlands allies you can play whenever you want because of Hirluin's text, but you can't play an Outlands ally and then a Deep Knowledge, or an Outlands ally and then a Warden of Healing. But that having been said, the flexibility to do a Warden of Healing without having to search for a Song or a Good Harvest is phenomenal. I still have Good Harvest in the deck, as you saw, just to, to work around the Grey Wanderer a little bit. Anyways, uh, I think either this or the Theodred build might be what I bring to Gen Con, if Gen Con is actually happening this year. And maybe I'll take some time to record some additional videos, because at the moment I have all the camera stuff set up on my table all the time for work video calls anyways. All right, everyone, thanks for watching.